The purpose of this video is to kind of address some comments and bring you into the state of my mentality and where I am at right now because I've seen comments specifically on my most recent on my most recent reactions to NF's loss and all of the Justin Bieber reactions that I've done. I've seen comments like you look tired or you look out of it or you look exa like exhausted, take care of yourself, etc. And those concerns are legitimate. So this is really just me trying to this is me trying to kind of let you in behind the scenes about what's going on because and everything that you're saying is true. I normally do not make videos like this, and the reason for it is because I try to separate my online life, my online personality, from my true personal life. My true personal life is what goes on behind the scene, and the moment that I hit record on the video, that's when I become my online personality. I'm not acting in any way. I'm not faking reactions or anything of that nature. I am being true to who I am. As much as I hate the two terms that I am about to use, I am completely aware that I am someone that would be considered quote unquote an internet personality or quote unquote a content creator and I try to keep my online persona that after I started to get a type of following every time every time I got traction I decided more and more that I'm going to make my online personality all congruent I'm going to make it all the same like if you go to my Instagram if you go to my Twitter you look at my feeds you look at what I post on my stories on Instagram most of the time it's memes or most of the time it's like me being funny or it's very lighthearted or I'm thinking something profound and I'm trying to make it more profound than it actually is like that is that is the persona that I display in front of the camera so that's also the persona that I put online now minus like happy birthdays and vlogs of me and my friends and my family going out and doing fun things like I really don't post too much about my day-to-day -day life if it makes good content I'll post it but other than that I, I pretty much try to keep it behind the scenes unless what's going on behind the scenes is so severe enough that it's gonna affect my job that I do for y'all guys in terms of making videos and this right here is one of those times. Now this video is not for pity, it's not for empathy, it's not for attention. I don't even know if I'm gonna turn on the comments to this video because that's not what I want this video to be about. This video is just me coming to y'all and telling you the reality of the situation, keeping it real. I keep it real on this channel. I try to just be who I am. I can't be anybody other than me, so that's the person that I put out in front of the camera. You are literally subbed to the channel because you like me as a personality and you like the commentary and you like the analysis and the overthinking nature that I have when it comes to music and, and lyricism within music, that's why you're here. That's why you are sub. That's why we all get a good laugh at people who are newcomers to the channel who might not necessarily like the way that I do it whenever they post something like, they post a comment like, yo, you talk too much. Or they post a comment like, stop pausing it so much. Let the song play. Like it's a you must be new here type of situation. And that's like an inside joke because of my personality. Now, while my personality and my articulation and my editing of the videos and most specific the way that I think, the way that I overanalyze and tend to overanalyze everything that I am doing in front of the camera, while I personally feel that that gives my videos a polished vibe and separates me from other reaction channels, I kind of created my own lane when there wasn't one. All of those things, specifically my overthinking personality and my overthinking nature, it can tend to severely affect me when things don't get my way. What you love about my personality and what I bring to YouTube can also be the, the, the same thing that cripples me on the on the back end, on, the, on behind the scenes. Now, I'm not going to divulge any information about actually what's going Going on. This is more just to let y'all know that I truly am going through it right now. I'm going through it so much that, like I said, it's affecting my it's affecting my online personality. It's affecting what y'all see, and I know it is because y'all guys are commenting on it. Very normal day to day stresses. I can normally turn that on and off, like with with no big deal. I have the foundation of my life that allows me to be able to just brush most things off. But when certain things affect me as severely as they are currently, I'm not that good of an actor. I can't just turn it on and off for the camera, and that's why it's leaked into my most recent videos. On a personal level, there are things going on within my life, like I said, behind the scenes that, that are that are having such a profound impact on who I am. They, they, they have me at what feels like the lowest that I have ever been. And that's what I mean when I say that your concern is legit. You say that I look tired, it's because I am. You say I look exhausted, it's because I am. You say it looks like my mind's somewhere else, it's because it is. No NF pun intended right here, but at the current moment, I kind of do feel lost. Like I'm kind of just wandering around. I'm kind of at 
at a fork in the road moment in my life and I look ahead and I don't like the look of either path. Right now at this point, all it seems like I can do is take it day by day. But as I push forward, it doesn't seem like it's getting any better. And that's what I mean when I'm going through it on a personal level. Now, on top of the personal level, I am also slowly but surely starting to have to worry and stress about the about the monetary sustainability of the channel. As most of you are aware who are watching this, this channel is fully funded and fully supported by Patreon support for the people who are willing to go to Patreon first off and, and donate a monetary contribution monthly if they have that monetary capability and they want to say that they're supporting the channel. They're, they're, they're watching, they're allowing the dream that I have of the channel to exist and not let corporate America basically destroy that. We know that the content that you provide because you are listening to copyrighted music does not allow you to get any of the revenue that you would normally get from YouTube. I would normally make enough money from the videos that I put out if I could monetize without needing Patreon, but they know and everybody knows that I virtually make zero money on every single video that's put out and the Patreon exists for that reason. And everybody that went initially and stepped up to the Patreon, they supplemented the income enough that I was able to completely quit my job and do this full time for y'all. Now, obviously, I couldn't expect every single person that came through on Patreon and supported initially to be like, yo, I, we appreciate what you do. Here's your support for the rest of your life from me. Like I, I knew that there was going to be a fall off in terms of support. And that fall off is currently happening. Now, while I might still be financially OK and I'm in a decent position monetarily for now, at the current trend, I'm not too sure how long that that's going to last. And because I don't know how long it's going to last, now comes the stress of like, what do I do? How, how do I find other ways to monetize the channel? And if I can't, what's going to happen after that? That's 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 a big reason why I pushed over to Twitch, because Twitch is kind of like that. That's the culture over there is for people to subscribe. They they pay money to subscribe. They, they give donations. They give bits. They buy subscriptions for other people and gift them like that's all built into the culture over there. And I appreciate every single person who has subscribed to me on Twitch and who has who has donated to the channel in that way on that platform. Now, when it comes to monetization on the channel, it's like, what can I do to provide monetization so that way I don't have to exclusively rely on Patreon because the numbers are falling? Like, yeah, I can vlog. The vlogs don't pull as many numbers as the reactions do. And on top of that, it's kind of hard to vlog mid COVID season because the United States is barely opening up again. Another way I thought about monetizing the channel was through Amazon affiliate links and posting the links of everything, all the gear that I use. And you go to the affiliate link, you click on it. Even if you don't buy what you what you clicked on, if you buy anything within a 24 hour or 48 hour period on Amazon, I get a little bit of cut of that. And that was going smooth for a little bit. And then all of a sudden I got an email from Amazon that said that they're terminating my they're terminating my affiliate, my affiliate status because of some kind of, I don't know, breach in terms of service or something. I didn't really look into it. It's all very legal at that point. But that that monetization channel is now out of the window for now. I might be able to reapply, but I don't know. So now if I can't monetize the channel fast enough and the, and the downward trend in Patreon support continues, use, I still get I still get like 90% of my 90% of how I survive from Patreon. If that starts to fall off and never flattens out, what do I do then? Do I go back and look for a full time job back in corporate America where I know that's going to cut into the time that I have to make content? If I do go back to corporate America, does that mean that in the background check, they're going to place that ultimatum on me once again, where I have to keep my content or I have to keep the job that sustains life? If they allow me to keep the content, will reactions take precedence over stream or vice versa? Like what what like my time is going to be limited. So where am I going to where am I going to use that resource of limited time? Do I need to go full balls to the walls Bernie Sanders mode and come to y'all once again asking for financial support like what do I do these are all questions that I've been asking myself for over a month and a half probably going on two maybe even two and a half months ever since I started to see like the like the slow but steady decrease in Patreon support this is but this is what's been going through my head and again this is not saying yo feel bad for me give me money currently I am still okay based off of the based off the revenue that I have coming in on Patreon but this is just saying for future reference if that trend continues these are the stresses that I have to think about every single day that on top of the personal behind the curtains type of things going on in my personal life, whether that be family, relationships, what have you, the things that have me feeling lost. I feel lost on the inside and I feel the stress is coming down from from how am I going to sustain life, basically. And again, it's not a pity party at this point in the video. You might not even be able to comment because the comments are turned off. This is just me explaining the reality of the situation. Chances are because all of this outside of new music
music that's coming out, like like NF's Clouds mixtape, like the like the Hobson track that just dropped, like Silk Sonic eventually when that album comes out, I am probably gonna t- have to take a slight hiatus for a couple of weeks from not just not YouTube, but but just my online presence in general, so I can step back and kind of gather my mental, you know. While I'm in this process of quote unquote gathering my mental, I guess I like my my online presence is gonna be extremely limited. My comment replies on YouTube are gonna be more limited. The posts that I make on Instagram, the story on Instagram, the the stupid tweets that I tweet on Twitter, like all of these things are going to be at a limited amount during this process. I'll still be posting content on Patreon, obviously, and I'm still going to be trying to stream the four days a week that I have dedicated to Twitch that I'm trying to set a streaming schedule. And I said four days a week. So I'm going to try to stick to that as much as possible, if not slightly more. So if you still want to be engaged in the community, if you still want to be engaged in the videos and you still want to engage with me, then consider going over there and following on Twitch because that's where most of my most of my like in real time content is going to be currently for YouTube. Like I said, other than new music, I'm probably going to take a step back for a little bit while I try to gather myself. I have plenty of requests that have already been fulfilled from Patreon requests that are kind of just like sitting in the hopper waiting to just be published. They're already edited and uploaded. You just haven't seen them yet. So I have enough to at least get me through a couple of weeks that that's basically what I'm going to be posting. There will not be a slowdown in the amount of uploads to the channel because of that. I hope everybody understands and I appreciate everyone's support for the channel and the content but most importantly I appreciate the support for for me as a person for me as a personality for me as a person that you like to spend 15 17 minutes a day with I feel like a lot of the people that are here you obviously came for the music you came for NF you came for Eminem you came for 21 pilots you came for Whit Laurie you came for whatever your favorite artist that you like to see reactions to BTS Blackpink K-pop what have you you came for that but you ended up staying for me as a person and and that makes me feel at the end of the day, that makes me feel really good inside. I might not and do not grow as fast as other reactors on YouTube. There have been channels that started way after me that at this point, at this point of me making this video, they have lapped me multiple times over in terms of the numbers of subscribers that they have. But I mean, at the end of the day, that that's fine. I'm happy for their growth. Do I wish the growth for me came that fast? Obviously, I wish that we can grow as fast as possible. But at the end of the day, I still feel like the subscribers that I have, the 172,000 or something like that at this point i still feel we have one of the best communities in the reaction genre and for that that that's like that like means everything to me so once again i appreciate everybody's support if you got this far in this video this is probably going to be a pretty long video so i appreciate you listening to me and really the main point of the video was for me to keep it real for you to tell you that you know the 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 look of me being tired and looking like i'm out of it that's all legitimate and i guess it's kind of just also me being like yo if you're going through something you're not the only one going through something it's not not all sunshine and rainbows over here. I'm not a YouTuber who makes who makes two hundred thousand dollars a year who just posts vlogs and buys Teslas for everybody all day. Like I'm just a normal dude who goes through the same struggles that you do, and I hope that you can find some type of solace in that. So over the next few weeks, definitely look forward to new music. Over the next few weeks, look forward to, to videos that are not going to get as many views because they're requests, but they're videos that are going to come regardless. And I appreciate everybody's patience during this time while. I'm, I don't even know what I'm trying to do. I don't even know what the situation is, but uh, I'm trying to figure something out, I guess. And while I'm figuring out whatever that something is, I appreciate everybody's patience and support. But other than that, everybody, like I always say at the end of all of my videos, no matter what's going on in my world behind the scenes, always go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other, and I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.